not only here to sell cars, we care about people. And we care about people. And the ways for us to show that, like we, we show them by our core business, which is cars. Yes, we could do ads and say, well, you know, everyone come and get a car, this is the price, this is the interest rate, etc., etc. But our relationship with the customer goes beyond the car. That is why they keep returning to us because the father, the son, the grandson, all of them get to be a part of the Courtesy family because of the type of product we produce, um, our involvement and interest in what they're doing outside of the car. You have lives to live. Um, you know, cultural events is a part and parcel of how we develop, how our young people develop. And we show an interest in that and we try to support them as best we can. Um, we can't necessarily, you know, look at the school books and that kind of thing, but we can do, we can assist by coming into things like cultural events where a lot of young people are involved. And when we say young people, it's not necessarily 14, 15 year olds. We're talking about young at heart. So therefore, we capture the mothers, the fathers, the aunts, the grandmothers and what's not in the cultural events. So we take, we, we try to do our part with that and to assist as best we can. A cat or a bat or a rat or a gnat or some other species So they couldn't restrict me They say human being is the smartest thing on the earth But yes, when the COVID hit is human that had to be worse Hear them no gathering, social distancing Try and wear your mask, stay six feet apart But see them birds up in the nest Partnership with, with NCF goes back to back in the days of Edwin when Edwin won his first crown. He got he won the Nissan Central from Courtesy Garage and it started from then. So we've been a part and parcel with the NCF working together as a team from since that time. A new day begins and you're feeling down and out. New problems ahead, don't know yet what they're about. You wish you could die. So the madness could be gone It's nonsense to hide or run Something says keep pressing on A voice in my head, it talks to me A voice in my head, it talks to me Out with the problems It tells me the road is long It tells me we must be strong Roll with the pain and strife Today is the start of the rest your life is it? A voice in my head keep talk to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A voice in my head it talks to me. Out with me problems. We always at the top of the stream, picking the crop finals, and we like that event. That event, that's the creme de la creme event of the whole crop of the season, and we always make sure we are part of that. I think we bring quality in terms of the, the product and things that we offer. I think, I would like to think that we, we add to what the NCF is doing by the standards that we have as a business. And again, the, the top quality products that we offer them. Um, we have a wide range of products and we don't ever, or up to now, we haven't offered 
the lowest range or the lowest model that we have. We always give them the best quality vehicle, the best features that we can offer. Now we are going into the electric age electrification. We give them the best electric vehicle that there is out there in the market. That is the car we are offering them. The whole world now is talking electrification. And we happen to be one of the fortunate brands on the island in the world that has electric vehicles to give to the public. And this would be a good time, and this is a good time for us to showcase Barbados, one, on one level, and two, the fact that the Nissan vehicle, well known worldwide as a number one, let me say the number one exponent of the electrification, to have that available, to know that it's available in Barbados, and to be able to put that on the table for the Calypsonians to have a chance to experience what we talk about doing in 2030, to experience it from 2022. We always talk about developing young people and the things that young people are involved in. And as a sponsor, you know, you want to contribute to all those aspects. I may not be able to, to or not I, but my company may not be able to give a car to a school leaver straight off the bat. But by the association with that, with that individual or with the event, we, can, we have an opportunity then to, to expose the brand to more people. Um, a lot of the Nissan customers or Nissan followers are family related people. You have a lot of repeat buyers. A father brings his son for his first car, he brings him to courtesy. Um, a mother wants to introduce her daughter to a, a nice little car. She will come to courtesy because of her experiences over the years. So it is part of our corporate responsibility as well to help in the development not only of the young people, of the country that we live in. And that's why, again, we spent a lot of time trying to ensure that the electrification became a part and parcel of Barbados. And we have done our part, I think, up to this point, as much as we could, to make sure that it is known, um, to expose the people around us, to let the world see where Barbados sits when these new technologies and stuff come into the market. Um, so much so that Barbados is one of the only places in the world, believe it or not, who has the authority and the stamp of Nissan to sell the Leaf in their market. And that's because of how advanced our people are as well. And it goes well to look, you know, the education system and stuff that we have to show it, it, it's kudos for Barbados. You know, a lot of people say that they go to different Caribbean countries and things are done this way and what's not. But I tell everyone, when we do things in Barbados, we do them top notch, top draw every time. You go to our finals, and the experience is beyond anything you can talk about. We hear about all the different festivals all over the islands in the Caribbean and what's not, but the Crop Over Festival is a different feel, and we always do it top drawer. Why a car? We are automotive. That's the essence of our business. That's the essence. That is what we specialize in. So therefore, if we want to get involved and, and do things to the best of our ability, we have to do what our core values and our, the core of our business is, we do cars. We can bring the best cars to the market. We can show you the best cars to the market for your festival. Many years ago, transportation became very vital and important to the general public. Um, we all know the whole experience of the whole bus system. You gotta travel somewhere, you gotta wait for the bus, depends on what time it comes. If you're getting a lift, you gotta depend on whoever is coming and never to come. And I remember that it shifted from housing and what's not. The next big thing that we have in our society is cars. So I think it was a natural fit as we moved from being able to offer people houses and stuff, you went into transportation. So therefore that's where the cars came in. When you look at the, the, the name Courtesy Garage and you see it associated with the festival, it goes back to the core of family and being together and closeness and that kind of thing. That's why you said, for instance, um, earlier, that a lot of our clientele comes from the relationships from families. So a lot of people, when they see the name Courtesy, Courtesy is a household name when it comes to talking about cars. Um, and again, now when you talk about the festival, you can bring it all together and see that Courtesy is a part of your life. Whether it be looking for a car, enjoying yourself, we are there in all, all aspects of your life. It has benefited us from the point of view where I think by having top-notch quality products available, 
people get to see the products they get to some of them they get to touch it feel it and a lot of the time outside of crop over when they're thinking about their transportation needs naturally somebody would say well it was a courtesy pick of the crop and that ties us into their everyday thinking you know um, the mother may not remember but the kids in the family may say you know courtesy had a lovely car at the finals and Yes, mommy, you're looking for care. Well, let's go by courtesy and see what they have, you know. And again, that brings the whole family unit involved and encouragement into the whole thing. I think the two-year break with COVID and stuff helped a lot of people to develop the skills a bit. Um, some people um, would have used the time to relax and what's not, but you could see the more the more mature people in the in the in the um, in the whole cultural events. They spent the time, you know, honing the art, the, the arts and what's not. And I think the quality is coming out in a lot of the music that we're hearing. Um, I like the mix this year where a lot of the younger folk are coming in. Um, not that I'm saying, you know, throw the, the older folk aside, but a lot of the younger folk. If you look at the composition of the competitors coming up for the event this year, you will see a lot of mixture inside there, and that is good. I think during, during the, the pandemic, I don't think we realize what we missed. Now hearing the music coming back, hearing the sweet vibes, you know, the different mixes and what's not that's coming out, you now realize what it is that we were missing. I mean, you can imagine though, two years, we didn't have this, we didn't have the music, we didn't have any of the cultural events associated with crop over, we didn't have ceremonial delivery last canes, nothing like that took place because, you know, we are a loving people, we like to be close, we like to, you know, I know a lot of people have difficulty dealing with wearing the mask, right? Not as much, do you think, as the social distancing. We can't hug, you got an elbow touch, or that kind of thing. Two years without being able to get close to people. I think now, you know, not even, it's not even, we're not even at the level yet that I think we can be at, because we are now gradually coming back in. I think in the year, the next year or two to come, I think that is where you can see the difference. That is where you can see the difference. When we more or less are free, take off the mask, hug your friend that you haven't seen in all the last two years, new music, new vibes, and you can feel it. Having to experience all of that, that is what, you know, you will realize then what we missed. Two years was a long time. We missed a lot. We missed a lot. And like I said, there are certain songs, if you hear them now, Listen to the, the structure of the music, listen to the structure of the band, listen to the horns cutting in, hearing the drummer, hearing the sweet melodies coming out. You, you recognize we really missed a lot, but now it's coming back. And I think people are going to embrace it. It's going to be really nice. I think we have learned that there's a lot that we can do differently. There's more opportunity for us to contribute. Um, and. Technically, we can, we can just change the way we do things and do it in a better way. Uh, before the pandemic, I think there was a lot of things that businesses used to do generally that you would ask a question and they would say it was impossible. For example, working from home. You know, um, a lot of businesses, when you talk about working from home, it was a definite no-no. No way this could happen. Um, our experience, I think, is that if, you, if your back is against the wall, Everything that you think that can't be possible is possible. Uh, all you need to do is try, make the effort. Um, during the pandemic as well, we, we learned about what a shutdown is. You know, years ago, we would have thought about these things, heard about them, heard about curfew, right? All right, uh, during the whole um, pandemic season, I learned one word, if there's anything I came away from it, was the word curtilage, meaning that when curfew is on, you may refer the curtilage, which means the boundaries of your home. And imagine, at the height of the pandemic, it was so bad, you could not come outside of your gate. What we take, things we took for granted, you know, we leave work on evenings, we want to go to the supermarket every evening, we can pass there for something. And in the time of the pandemic, we learned, no, no, no. When you leave work, you go straight home at six o'clock, seven o'clock, you cannot be on the road, right? Those are the experiences that we take from that. And again, you know, we, 
we, I think before that, we thought we could do anything we like, however we like, whenever we like. And the whole thing taught us that we are not in control. We are not in control, right? Do what you can, when you can, the best way you can, and don't take it for granted. Because very easily, like the pandemic, the experience of the pandemic, it can be all taken away overnight. I would say crop over is the sweetest experience that you could have. And, and especially um, people coming from different cultural backgrounds. I think to experience crop over at its fullest, to come and, and experience the pick of the crop finals, for instance, is not something that you, it's, it's not a run of the day thing, one. Um, it's not the kind of situation, for instance, the way you go to, in the larger countries where you go to a band presentation and hire bands playing. It's a different, a different experience. So I think mixed with what we offer as a, as, um, what we offer as a people, um, how we interact and what's not, I think it is a, a complete experience and a nice show for the for the people who don't know who don't know what crop over is. My friends keep telling me how I mad as hell, but I tell them no I'm crazy. But the things I hear and see no what is in we society like marching into a church assaulting the pastor when people fall. It's enough to lose all your faculties. I think my days of following um, Pick of the Crop and what's not go back to 1983, 84. And believe it or not, up until the pandemic, I think I probably missed two Pick of the Crop finals. And that's because of my, my duties at Courtesy. I, did, I do a lot of traveling. So during the, during the crop over time, I was traveling. But apart from that, I attended every single Pick of the Crop final. Your boy Webster, and climb your air unto me, Father, as you do with these folks that go to church regular. Dear Lord, COVID-19 still killing me. Now Putin trying to put me in World War Three, so I know and I understand that you're busy. But you have some people that claiming to be your daughters and sons, but they love. Some of the most wicked ones, like the man who does call into brass stacks, praising we come by day, but at night. We know things are changing in the world every day, so for me to tell you that you know we'll be here forever, we would love it to be. So we will work towards that, and hopefully, as the world starts to get more normal in what's going on, I think we will see more and more coming out in what we can offer on what we can give back to the public. From the C.O. Williams House of Soka, Kwan! There you have it, the new Calypso King of Barbados people, make some noise for Quan! Calypso King, pick the crop, 2022.